Hi, I'm Dr. Ulyss and I'm back. I don't think I've been on uh, YouTube for about two years and I talked a lot about natural raising of testosterone. Well, this is a continuation of my testosterone series. Today's talk is going to be about human menopausal gonadotropin versus human chorionic gonadotropin. Two major differences in the two products. Most people don't know much about human menopausal gonadotropin. They know a lot about HCG, which is, you know, it's, so let's, let's talk about the differences. First of all, HCG is, most people use that for like off cycles or during a cycle to maintain testicular function, maintain sperm counts, sperm volume. Guys that are on testosterone for a long time, or anybody for that matter, will, testicles will start shrinking and they'll get soft and they'll notice their, their sperm or ejaculate starts going down. So what do they do? They'll take either a whole cycle of like 1,000 or 500 units of human gonadotropin uh, subcutaneously every you know three, two or three days uh, for like a month or they might take their injections of testosterone and then maybe every three or four days still add the HCG just to keep the testicles close alive because it needs the signal the HCG produces which is luteinizing hormone from the brain but let me explain the differences here Let's, let's talk about HCG. This is a product derived from the, uh, a pregnant woman's urine. It's secreted by the placenta. It actually has two units, one called an alpha unit and a beta unit. So when you have HCG, you're actually having these two different units. The alpha unit is really the active unit. The beta is kind of like, kind of unknown what it really does. So you're getting this little mixture. But if, if people are really looking for fertility, then we have to really move to human uh, menopausal gonadotropin. Now, this is urine from women who are done with with uh, uh, what do you call it, ovulation, and they're menopausal. And it means that their body is starting to produce a lot of FSH follicle stimulating hormone and a lot of luteinizing hormone, both necessary for ovulation and reproduction. So, if men really want a more pure product for maintaining fertility human uh, menopausal gonadotropin is much better than HCG or human chorionic gonadotropin and what people know about is Novarel, Pregnil, there's a whole bunch of uh, trade names but so this, I really think if a male is concerned about maintaining fertility or having enough sperm to say if he's on some sort of anabolic cycles whatever type of thing so therefore I would say that human menopausal gonadotropin which is also known as Menopure Repronax and there's a bunch of trade names so that would be actually a, a good choice for somebody who wants more ejaculate and more sperm than just HCG and I think the prices might be a little bit more but I think it's really comparable I think it's but it's highly important in the testosterone world to know that we have a product called human menopausal gonadotropin which again to emphasize is luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. So you've got two pure hormones, whereas HCG contains one unit which is a kind of, kind of a, an analogous to luteinizing hormone. It's not a pure, it's, a, it's an analog, but it's not a pure luteinizing hormone product. So it's indirectly kind of a little bit more, less clean than human menopausal gonadotropin. But it still does the job. I mean, tons of people have used it. It's, it's been around for 30 years in the fertility world and, and all kinds of uh, in general, I, I really think that people who do use or have to use testosterone therapy for medical reasons, they do need to introduce something to stimulate their testes so that it gets shrunk, shrivel, and then if they do it long enough, they can't bring it, bring it back. So that's kind of more, of the, more or less the story of HMG and HCG. Now, if you have any questions, uh, go, go to my website. At, I've got some articles on this. Uh, my website is www.dr. K A R L I S U L L I S dot com, Dr. Carlos Ulis dot com, or you can just email me at K U L S U L L K U L L I S M D at gmail dot com. So we can continue on this uh, maybe on another program, but uh, this is now kind of a new update on testosterone, and uh, we will have some more talk later. Thank you.